So as part of the Selenium training, so I'll just show you the course contents, what I'm going to teach, guys, let's see. See guys, let me open, actually there is one more thing I created. Okay, see guys, see I'm going to cover these topics from Java. I'm going to cover these topics from Java basically. So if you see last class also I told you, I'm going to cover Java. Then I'm going to cover Selenium, these classes of Selenium. Totally in Java, we are going to cover so many topics. We are going to cover start from the basics. How do we execute a program from the command line? Okay. And uh, how do we execute a Java program from the Eclipse? What are data types? What are arrays? If else, for and while loop methods. Reference variables, static and non-static variables, class, object, constructors, and inheritance, abstract classes, string, interface, exception, and files, polymorphism, list, and set. So these are the topics I'm going to cover as part of Java. And also for these topics, I'm going to share the notes. I'm going to share the videos. I'm going to share the programs as well. All the things I'm going to share. Okay. So once we cover Java, we have to get into you don't see the dates now dates and all like in the previous classes dates just hide it don't see the dates then selenium selenium we're going to cover tech locators the basic information about selenium for one week of time the locators we're going to cover totally there are eight locators in selenium we'll be focusing on all these eight locators and we'll be covering advanced concepts in selenium advanced concepts like find elements handling frames handling windows handling alerts take screenshot mouse over then afterwards we'll be focusing on framework for one week of time then some grid then page object then we are going to cover in the page object one real time project so i'm going to cover one real time project means we'll take an application and we'll try to do the automation for that application using page object model so that is the object of the course we are going to cover java selenium frameworks and one live project that is part of this course Okay, so we are not going to cover any other topic apart from this. We are going to cover only Java only. There is no Ruby, no Python, nothing we are going to cover. Only focus is on Java because Java only it will take some time for us to understand because we are all manual testers. Being a manual tester, learning a programming language it will take some time. So we will be focusing on Java first to get some understanding. Then we will get into Selenium. <coughs> any doubts? Vishali, any doubts in the syllabus? Gary, are you getting any doubts? Gary, Deepthi, who you have joined today? Today is the first class. Bharti Sahu, Rani, anyone? Anyone has any doubts? Please ask me or else I'll continue with the installation stuff. Yes, we are going to learn Java programming only. We are not going to learn Java scripting. Scripting is, Java scripting is different. Java programming language is different. We are just focusing on core Java. Because using core Java only, we are going to write the programs in Selenium. So we have to learn core Java first. Then only we can go to Selenium. Yes, we have only one project in this course. Gary, I got it. Only one project in your course because see multiple people are typing the questions, so I'm unable to get that. Only one project we are going to cover. Good question. Vishal is asking Java programming will it be difficult for a non technical person? Non technical person for the first five days you will feel little understanding, but once we go to advanced concepts of Java, you have to spend time, you have to put effort. Right? See, pro, Java is a programming language, first thing. Programming language means what? We have to spend time. We have to dedicate some time to it. Right? Then only we can understand the concepts. We have to practice. And also, for your understanding, everyone, guys, I am going to share the notes. That's what I am saying. 
So every topic you get a note. Suppose for example, we'll discuss about interfaces. Let's open this. So you get a notes. So what is the main advantage of notes? Notes make you little comfortable compared to seeing the directly the programs. The notes makes you comfortable. Right. So while teaching, I'll explain the notes. I'll share these notes to you and I'll share the videos to you. I'll share the programs to you. You have to, if you're not able to understand, you have to focus in the focus in the practice by yourself. Okay, guys, one second. Okay, Vishali has a question. Could you share a small example for basic programming today? Is how many hours a day do we need for spending learning practicing code Java? Okay. <clears throat> Vishali, as I'm saying here, it will take two weeks of time for me explanation. Okay. For me to explain, it will take two weeks of time. Suppose you want to see the programs, there are so many programs available. Suppose, for example, currently I'll show you some programs which I'm teaching for the previous batches to get yourself understandable. Okay, that the Eclipse opens. I'll just show you a few programs, but I'm not going to teach today anything in Java because first we have to understand what is the what is a Java programming language. We need to start from introduction. See, we cannot start writing the programs on the day one. That's the reason I'm not in I'm not showing anything today. I'll just show you like you know how the programs look and feel available. Or if you want to tease, like you know how many programs we are writing, all these things, I'll just show you for your understanding today. Okay. But we'll start with the actual topics with proper notes, with proper implementation. We have to start from introduction of Java. We have to start from introduction of Java. See, suppose for example, currently 8 p.m. EST batch is already done. Okay. I'll just show you for them what we have done for the 8 p.m. EST. Can see everyone? I'm just showing Eclipse how the programs we have to write and uh, how, how we'll write programs and how we'll execute just to understand. It will take some time to open Eclipse. Once it opens Eclipse, I'll just go, go through that Java programs and also Selenium also I'll show you for your understanding like how we'll write the programs and how we'll write to practice. I'll show you all the things. See, suppose for example, let me close all. Guys, if you see, see, if you see, these are the, these are basic programs. These are little advanced. See, these are packages. See, so these are all the Java programs we are going to cover as part of Java. So let's take any any example like method invocation dot example. See. These are all programs we have to practice. Right, guys. So, Vishali, are you getting similarly? Vishali, we have a Selenium project as well. See here. See here. Okay, fine. So, for your understanding, Gary, Vishali, and, and Bharti. We are joined today. Just go through this. We'll just practice the programs like this. You get a lot of programs, a lot of videos, a lot of notes. You just need to dedicate the time. That's it. Okay. Yes, definitely, Vishali. For a manual tester without any real time experience, you can learn easily. See, that's the reason a lot of people, right, currently from non IT background. They are not into IT background also. They are into non-IT background. They are learning manual testing and then learning Selenium. Why? Because Selenium has a very good job market. Suppose, for example, when you try to compare the job market with any other, like, you know, technology, say database, say say some, some complex technologies you take, Java is easy first. Sorry, testing is easy first. In the testing, QFS Selenium is a very good combination because manual testing, you will try to learn some writing test cases. And how do you prepare the test cases and how to execute all the things? And in Selenium, you'll be focusing on uh, you'll be focusing on how to write uh, programs and how to execute the test cases and how do you automate the test cases, right? That is the objective. Guys, any doubts? Deepthi, what's your question? I didn't get the question actually. Dipti, what's your question, Dipti? How is this Selenium related to testing, right? That's your question, right? 
how is selenium related to testing guys actually what we do is basically if you try to see manual testing see manual testing it's a time taking activity right if you see manual testing we have two types of testing sanity and regression if you see sanity when now we get a build we'll try to test whether the build is working fine or not then we'll give sign off yes i can accept the build for sanity testing and let's come to regression testing what happens regression testing regression testing is a time taking activity you have so many test cases to automate so what happens you doesn't have time to automate doesn't have time to execute manually those test cases so the alternative for regression testing is we have to go for automation when you think about automation we have so many tools available in the market but selenium is one of the open source automation tool which we can automate the test cases automation means what without any manual effort we can save time we can save the resources we can save cost time effort cost and also once you automate the test cases if you get a build 10 times 20 times also i can use the same scripts again and again so usually what happens developers they'll give so many builds for us so many builds right so we cannot execute every time manually on each and every build so we should have some kind of automation whenever we get a build we'll try to automate and provide sign off based upon the results so and the automation is one time activity you automate only one time and you are going to use the same scripts again and again for different builds the advantage is you can reuse the automation scripts reusability is also one of the advantage of automation right and one more thing guys so don't think that you are going to you are going to write manual test cases you are automation tester your job is not to write manual test cases keep in mind don't you don't spend time in writing manual test cases you spend time in understanding manual test cases you spend time in how do we automate manual test cases so to be clear we are not going to cover any manual testing concepts here we will be focusing on only automation suppose for example if any manual tester has written some test cases and he has given for automation we'll just need to understand them and try to execute them just need to just need to understand them and and try to automate them that's it we never write any test cases manually in selenium we always automate the test cases in selenium guys getting so we never never ever try to write test cases manually our job is to just to automate the test cases see when you try to automate if you are unable to understand the manual test case you have to talk to the manual tester and ask him the proper inputs what are the steps he is following try to understand the manual test case try to automate a similar way in selenium also that is objective see our job is so less but if you know the selenium if you don't know selenium our job is difficult depends right so if you know selenium very well your job is so easy automation is so interesting actually if you see manual testing right you have to write the theory part you have to write test cases you have to more of you have to write uh, write you know so many steps to make sure the test cases pass or fail all the things you have to do but automation is so easy so so interesting also way because we are automating it we are saving time we are adding some value to the project so there it is uh, very interesting compared to manual testing right and ankana you are asking for every build regression test cases will not change that's what i am saying guys please try to please try to focus on basics regression test cases for every build it will not change okay if there is any change means there is a defect so regression test cases will not change even if you get 10 builds the regression test cases are same if you are getting any defect in the regression test cases then there is a defect in the build lot of raises a defect right getting angana yes yes our job is to only focus on automation only our job is to mainly focus on automation only we never think about manual test cases but we need to understand them see we need to understand them that is very important 
you don't write it but you will you need to understand them that is the objective yeah nibedita we have to just automate the test cases that's it we'll do it we never focus on how do we but it's good to know the manual test cases the main object of the test case the main object of the application you just need to know high level scenarios just to get hands on of the test cases it will be easy when you go for automation and out guys yes automation means what suppose for example automation is what you write programs like this see automation is what we'll write the programs like this and also for your kind information the classes is a weekday class from 11:30 to 12:30 or 12:45 that's a target every day we are going to meet every day one topic i'm going to teach for one hour after one hour i'll leave it up to you you can ask me doubts but while teaching you should not ask me any doubts you can ask the doubts related to the topic but if i have any topics general questions you can ask me after the class so every day we are going to meet from monday to friday but it's not weekend only weekdays will meet and we'll try to meet like that for at least 5 weeks to cover all the topics so we we'll start by next week monday most probably we'll might complete this batch by september first week or september 10th or september 15th that's a target totally 5 weeks yes see don't depend upon the timing okay so every day we'll cover the topics once we proceed the it might be 4 weeks or 5 weeks we'll we'll see okay i am not talking about the timing right now see if you are able to understand the topic we'll go to the next topic like that we'll proceed okay so i'm also not insisting on the timing because that's what i'm saying september 10th i'm just giving the tentative dates also because i cannot project like you know uh, i cannot be aggressive on the dates also so september 10th or september 15th see gary what happens is how many people attend the class it doesn't affect anyone basically see everybody can ask doubts you might be knowing now if anybody ask the doubt i am replying right i'm just answering your questions so even if 10 people are there 20 people are there your questions will be answered if the question is not relevant if you are not getting an answer means your question is not relevant that can be answered afterwards why because i'll tell you the reason because these videos are shared with everyone who joined the course whenever i try to answer the questions if the question is not relevant to the topic they will get confused that's the only thing i'm trying to make sure that video should not be get disturbed when i start recording right so once i complete the class i'll leave up to you you can talk to me i will unmute you we can discuss and ask me any doubt so you have that kind of flexibility okay doesn't mean that you know you can just only type in the chat window no you can talk to me and ask me any kind of doubt once i complete the class every day right so that's why what happens is you know what is happening you can ask me any doubt or you can share your screen suppose for example what is happening selenium right it will work fine for me but when you start executing the same program in your laptop it will doesn't work so what happens due to some issue configuration issue some firefox version issue so what i have to do i have to take a control of your laptop then i can fix the issue so it will happen every day but i encourage everyone has to try first try what are the alternatives i have to try to make sure that program is working fine try then you have to ask me in the class i can quickly help you yeah the basic prerequisite for learning selenium is java we are not going to learn selenium immediately we are going to learn java first okay then only we'll come back to selenium nothing is required gary nothing is required you already have go to meeting right that's it i can give the control to you right now also you can share your screen nothing is required no software is required just need to join the meeting i'll take care from that that's it Yeah, we shall definitely job placement assistance definitely will be provided. 
you can talk to H2K. H2K team will provide the job assistance also. You can keep in touch with the Daniel. He will take care of it. Don't worry for that. He will take care of it. Job assistance or any help or any doubts or you know, the timings or you know, the batches, batch timings or you know, any doubts regarding the like you know, projects or regarding the placements, you can talk to H2K. They will guide you because they are the right person. They can provide you more answers compared to me. Any doubts, guys? Okay, let me show you today. What I'm going to tell you is see, first thing what we are doing is see here prerequisite for Selenium training. So, what are the prerequisites for Selenium training? Just now I told you before I go and start Selenium, we have to first learn Core Java. Before I start learning Core Java, first we have to install Java in my laptop. So Java should be installed in your laptop. Then how do you install? How do you know the Java is installed in your laptop or not? See, before I install Java in my laptop, first I have to verify this this command Java minus version. If if I try to type this command in my type this command in the command line, when I type Java minus version, I get some messages. It means Java is installed in your laptop. What you have to do, guys? Go to start CMD, start CMD, it will open command line. CMD, in the CMD, just type Java space minus version. Try this. Try this and see now, guys. And let me know anybody has installed Java or not. Right, when you type what happens? When you type what happens here? So we get a message like this, right? Java version 1.8.025. Any version of Java is fine. That's not required to be 1.8 only, but 1.8 is the latest version. As we are learning Java, any version of Java is fine. It starts from 1.4, 1.5, 1.6, 1.7, 1.8 is the latest version. Any version of Java is fine. Don't worry. Any version of Java is fine. Suppose, for example, I'm interested in the latest version of Java. Fine. You can also install the latest version of Java again. You can go to this, see here, to install Java. Yeah, for the people who is Java is not recognized, you have to follow the step three. Step three, we have to start. What we have to do to install Java, you have to search for, you have to search for JDK 1.8 download in Google. What I have to do, we have to search for the string, take this string, copy this in Google. Google, we know it, how to open Google, everybody knows. Open google.com. Open google.com. And type here. See? JDK 1.8. Once you type JDK 1.8, click on Google search. See, if anybody wants to do it, you can try that also, or else you can wait. You can I'll share this notepad right now in the chart window. You can also follow the steps once I complete the class. Okay, click on Google search now. JDK 1.8. I'm providing the chart window also. This string, if you want, you can try now. Just providing the chart window. Take this string exactly. Click on Google search, guys. That's it. Okay, so once we install, once we click, once we say JDK 1.8, click on search, 
it will show you the first option java sc development kit 8.8 downloads oracle so currently java is owned by oracle right that's the reason it is showing oracle website you see oracle.com slash technoworks their downloads what you have to do click on this link now first click on the link that's it so once you click on the link it will show the downloads option see now so once you click on the link it will open the page and it's a download tab just go down you see two radio buttons here accept license agreement decline license agreement which one to select now have to select accept license agreement select this okay then you find out what kind of windows operating system you have what kind of operating system it is available in your laptop suppose for example if your laptop contains 64 bit just click on this if your laptop contains 32 bit just click on this most most of the people has 64 bit right very desktop people have 32 bit you can try one more thing just click on this and download this when it doesn't work then you go for this one or else you can check in google how to find the bit version operating system bit version you can try that okay then find out the bit version it is 32 bit or 64 bit for 64 bit you have to click on this link when i click on this link what happens it will download jdk executable once you double click on the executable file it will install java we have to go step next step, next 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 till it will install java java will be installed automatically in your laptop then again open command line then freshly open the command line then type java minus version it will show java is installed in your laptop okay so what you have to do you have to click on this link jdk 8u51 windows x64 it will install java in your laptop getting okay, guys okay guys i'm saying the questions if it is not relevant not relevant i don't answer the questions okay again i'm saying guys so if you ask me any questions in the installation of java i can help you that's what i'm saying you have to follow the same thumb rule when you start the classes also if you ask me some relevant irrelevant questions that haven't answered in the class that will be answered after the class okay fine so once you click on this what happens it will install jdk in your laptop is executable file or double click on the executable file it will install java in your laptop then you can do one more thing open command line again fresh command line open fresh command line cmd then open it it will open fresh command line then again type java minus version in the fresh command line it will show the java is installed or not so please follow the steps and try to install java that's the first step you have to do it okay as per the notepad the notepad is clearly explained to you it will guide you see here execute step 2 to verify java is installed in the laptop what is the step 2 step 2 is what this one and you can find out one more thing also java is installed or not how do you find out one more way is go to this location copy this location go to start here just type in the start just type this location just enter so we can also check whether the java is installed or not in the windows also by going into the location you see jdk 1.8 jre 1.8 these two are available so both will be getting downloaded when you try to download jdk jre java runtime environment also getting downloaded in your folder so this is how you have to cross check to verify cross check to verify the java is installed in your laptop or not okay so once we're done with the installation of java the next thing is eclipse because eclipse we use for writing the java programs see for writing text files we require notepad for writing documents we require a word ms word 
for writing for creating presentations we require a powerpoint similarly for writing java programs we require an ide integrated development environment which is called eclipse integrated development environment which is called eclipse okay kavita what's your question kavita what's your question please elaborate it so that i can understand the question i didn't get the question kavita please try to type it properly okay with a proper sentence okay see here Eclipse is a IDE integrated development environment useful for writing Java programs. Eclipse is an IDE integrated development environment for writing Java programs. The URL for installation of Eclipse is this one. See, guys, I'm type, I'm typing, I'm, I'm copying and pasting the chart window. Just click on this; it will download Eclipse in your laptop. First is Java installation, then only you can go for Eclipse. Okay, Control V. I'm sending to everyone also. See. Just try to click on the link. It will download the latest version called Eclipse Mars. Suppose for for example, if I have Eclipse Kepler, okay, don't need to download. Suppose for example, I have Eclipse Helios, no need to download. Eclipse Indigo, no need to download this version. If you don't have Eclipse, then download this. This version is the latest version, which is called Mars. Mars is the latest version. Okay. Anybody who is having Eclipse, don't need to install this one. Nothing is required because Eclipse is just for writing programs. any version is fine for us we are not developers we are not we don't require latest features of eclipse we just need to write how to write a small programs and execute it so any version of eclipse is fine if it is a kepler indigo helios any version luna fine go to you need to download it if you don't have anything then go there go to the location then download this eclipse that is objective and when you try to click on this link it will download a zip file then we have to unzip the file then only you will find eclipse.exe see when you try to unzip the file what happens let me show you you will see an exe file executable file eclipse.exe see when you try to click on the link it will download a zip file when you try to unzip the file you will find eclipse.exe here see it is difficult to verify whether the eclipse is available in your laptop because java you can do it but eclipse it's not possible you can do one more thing check with the eclipse word check with the eclipse word and try to search in your laptop if you find eclipse word then you can just type it here eclipse you see l i p e s c just try this word then if your eclipse is coming then you know where it is available then you can check whether eclipse is installed or not because we cannot check from the command line whether eclipse is installed or not in your laptop only java you can try but eclipse you have to go to the windows try to search whether the eclipse is installed or not if you are getting you cannot check you have to check like this suppose for example i got so many searches what i can do right click on the eclipse then i can say open a new window see it will go to the location And show me where the eclipse is installed. Then you can get the path also. See, this eclipse and get the path of it where it is available. It is not the it is not the eclipse actually. This will eclipse will be stored in some location. Check it. It contains the executable file. Or else you can try this also. Eclipse dot exe. You try this one. If you try this one, it's not to everyone. If you are able to find any matching for this, then Eclipse is installed in your laptop. If you don't have, then click on the link what I sent it in the chart window. Then install Eclipse. It will install Eclipse in your laptop. Then with a zip file, you have to unzip it. Then get into the folder. Then open Eclipse.exe. Getting right. So let's get into next one. What do you require apart from this? You require latest version of Firefox. So usually, what's the latest version of Firefox? How do you know? Just do one thing. Go to Firefox. Go to Help. You'll see Help here. Alt F. Alt F. Alt F. It will open the menu. Go to the Help. Again, I'm showing. Once you open Firefox, go to Alt F. 
alt f press f button f, f button go to help about firefox see the latest version of firefox is 38 38 okay mine is 33 it's okay not a problem for me but you guys have to install latest version of firefox because we are trying to see all the latest versions in selenium firefox latest version chrome latest version ie we cannot do anything because ie comes with windows we cannot like you know change the version of ie but firefox and chrome we are that that we can control it we can go for the latest version of firefox yeah how to get top menu you can do one more thing also there is an alt button press alt button and f button select this one press alt f alt plus f try this it will come getting ankanadas alt f alt plus f then alt f if you try it will come then you go to help then about firefox if you try then you get the version yes everybody has installed firefox because selenium is useful to do testing on multiple browsers so first we are going to start with firefox only once we start selenium yeah that is the latest version gary no need to bother 39 is the latest version no need to bother leave it chrome also should be latest version both required both are required guys So similarly, you have to install latest version of Chrome. You have to install latest version of Chrome. Yeah, both are required. That's what I'm saying. Latest version of Firefox, latest version of Chrome, both are required for Selenium because Selenium is useful to test on multiple browsers. Not only in Firefox, we have to do it on Chrome also. And IE also. IE comes with Windows operating system. So no need to bother about IE. IE will come by default. We cannot increase the version also. We cannot decrease the version of IE also. We cannot do anything. We just need to have Firefox latest version, Firefox and Chrome latest version. Okay, if you want, I'll send the latest version of Firefox link. Or else you can check in Google also. But you can. I'm sending it right now to you guys. Click on this. For installing Firefox, or else if this link is doesn't work, just go to Google. Type for Firefox, you can download the Firefox from the Google also. It is easy. Doesn't take much time. It takes some seconds. Yeah, you can see the version here. That's what I'm showing. The version you can see here. The help. About Firefox. When you say help about Firefox, it will open the window. And in the window contains these the Version of the Firefox. Suppose, for example, it is showing 33 for you. You can check for updates, it will automatically upgrade it. When you check for updates, what happens? It automatically upgraded to 38. From 33 to 38, it will upgrade, but I don't want to upgrade it. Mine it is okay, but for you guys, please install latest version because we have to execute the program for latest version of Firefox. Yeah, 39 is fine. 38, 39, anything is fine. Should not be less than that. That's it. Chrome also, you can check the version. Let me show for Chrome. See, you see this one, a tree, a tree in the right hand side, click on the tree. Okay. Chrome should be some 46, I think. What's the Chrome version? See now, it is 44. The latest version is 44. It is the latest version of Chrome. Is the chrome version how to go there go to click on the tree right hand side then go to help or about google chrome that's it try to open that will show the version of the google chrome yes guys we have to install all these things java eclipse firefox chrome keep it ready still some more things we have to do it but that will be shared by our documents because if you follow the documents you can also install Selenium plus Eclipse. Selenium is not installed. We have to install Selenium also. But for Selenium, I'll share the documents with you. You can just go through the documents. You can also install Selenium with Eclipse. That we'll do afterwards on Monday. Once we start Selenium, before, before starting Selenium, I'll just share those documents. You can just follow and try to do the setup for Selenium also because this is not the setup of Selenium. Selenium is pending. That we'll see before we start Selenium.
okay any doubts guys so what i'll do is now i'll send this notepad to everyone wait and that's it for